Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Cheese. Today we're making burrito tacos. Let's do it. First things first, we're gonna take two pounds of chuck roast and we're gonna cut it into chunks. Then we're gonna take that chuck roast and put it on a rim baking sheet. And then to that, we're also gonna add about two pounds of oxtail. Then you're gonna salt the meat. Make sure you get all sides. After making sure everything is nice and well salted, you're gonna set this to the side for about 30 minutes to an hour. Next, you're gonna take one onion and chop it up. Over medium high heat, we're gonna add some avocado oil. Once the oil is nice and hot, you're gonna add the oxtails. And you want to get it brown on each side. Once your oxtail has gotten this nice brown color on there, you're going to flip it over. Once both sides are brown, you're going to take that off the heat and you're going to repeat with the chuck roast. After both sides are brown, you're going to take that off the heat. In that same pot, you're going to add that onion you chopped up earlier. Next, we're gonna crush in four cloves of garlic. Once the garlic is nice and fragrant, you're gonna add about a tablespoon of tomato paste. Next, we're gonna add some coriander seeds and some black whole peppercorn. Next, we're gonna add three ancho chilies, dried. I'm gonna take the stem off and heat them up. We're gonna add eight guanajillo chilies and four audible chilies. Next, we need to rehydrate the chili, so we're gonna add about two cups of water. You're gonna bring this up to a simmer. After it's been brought to a simmer, you're gonna let it cook for about 10 minutes until the chilies are nice and soft, and then we're gonna take it off the heat and blend it. All right, to the blender, we're gonna add the chilies and all that liquid. Next, we're gonna add some cumin, chili powder, oregano, garlic powder and onion powder and then i'll cover your blender and blend next we're going to add the meat back to the pot then we're going to add our blended mixture then you're going to add some unsalted beef broth enough to cover the meat once the meat is mostly covered you're going to stir it make sure everything gets to know each other we're gonna add two sticks of cinnamon and a couple bay leaves. And you're gonna cover that and let that simmer for a couple hours or until the meat is nice and tender. After about three hours, um, you can add water as needed to keep the water level up. You're gonna remove the meat from the sauce. After we take it off the heat, we're gonna drain and sieve out all the large chunks of meat including the bay leaves and the cloves and other stuff that we have in here we may want to catch the cinnamon sticks and the bay leaves once you've gotten out all the cinnamon sticks and bay leaves you can just add the rest back into there and then you just salt to taste next you're gonna take a fork and shred the beef it should be fork tender by this point. After shredding the beef, we're gonna add a little bit of salt and drizzle a little bit of consomme on there. That's what that sauce is we made earlier. And mix it all around. Next, you're gonna take a corn tortilla, dip it in the consomme and put it on a pan to fry. Then you're gonna take some shredded Oaxaca cheese and put that on the top. Once it's starting to sizzle, you're gonna take some of that beef and add it to about half of the taco. Next, you're gonna to wanna to close the taco shell and fry each side. After about a minute, we're gonna flip it and fry the other side until it's nice and melted. And there you have it. Brilliant tacos.
it's much time. We got the burrito taco. Look at that cheese pool. Woo! Gotta dip it in that consomme. Mm. That's most definitely. Cheetos! Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.